Good morning, good morning, you beautiful souls. It's day three, the final and last day of my self-administering Cambo series. Again, you know, I feel I'm doing what would be considered a microdose, but I'm not 100% sure. This may still be over what a microdose may be for some people. And, you know, I'm doing things a little bit differently. I'm doing it my way. That's part of the, uh, yeah, I guess the learning curve and also the liberties that, you know, have been given to me from working with other psychedelic plants and fungi and you know the, this frog medicine it's a great ally in this realm I've got um I've got to start a little bit early today I've been doing a workout before uh before each session uh however uh today Finn and I made like a really good smoothie and I just cannot wait you see the thing with Campbell is you gotta fast, so I often do it in the mornings or um, or even in the early afternoons because I'm already fasting. I often intermittent fast. Uh, however, you know the smoothie looks amazing, and I really can't ha wait to have it. So I'm jumping in a little bit early. The first thing I'm gonna do here is uh, take some sananga. You guys may have seen me administer this to Tristan if you've seen that video before. It's a drop in the eye, any tears, any uh, extra medicine, you just rub it on the third eye. I was really scared to self-administer this one too. I'm not much for for hurting myself these days. I, um, you know, I guess when I was like younger, it's like I'd get a toothache and I'd chew on some Doritos and I didn't mind the pain. It was almost like soothing, but now it's like, ugh, I don't want any of that so it's actually hard and then it comes a point of like of breaking through and surrendering and understand that like with pain does come pleasure with hell does come heaven there is no good or bad it's about riding the wave in the middle like the yin yang teaching so i'm gonna work with sananga i've done this many times on my own now uh, so i did find a way to self-administer where you know, it doesn't freak me out, and I also do get the medicinal properties, and I also do get the empowerment of knowing that I am doing it myself uh, for good reasons with good intentions behind it. So, Sananga is one that's really helped my eyesight, and it's a great cleanse for that area. If you're spending a lot of time online, if you wear glasses and you're behind screens all the time, not getting that vitamin D, there's so many benefits to this. And uh, I waited a long time to get my hands on it where I could work with it more consistently. So here we go. It's a little drip dropper. I... Start on the left, move over to the right, and drop in each. Keep my head back. Oh. oh, yeah. It's definitely it's not that pleasurable at first, but it passes. Oh. <sighs> Just take anything that drops and just rub it. Uh, third eye actually has a retina and a lens. It's just as much an eye as anything. It's why when we close these two eyes, this one opens. We start to see inside of ourselves, see our dreams, see our visualizations for the world we want to create, the world we do want to live in. So we can actually become that change. 
Oh, that only took a few minutes. I think that it's mainly worn off now with just blinking and getting that water. This one, I still feel it a little bit, which is, I must have put more in. Or I just needed more medicine to um, another drink of water here. Up my medicine, get it prepared. And I'm staying close to the edge here because I um, I don't want to get everything on the stick wet and also because I'm just doing one point, there's no point scraping where it's really thick. I can use up this other stuff. medicine I've got here. It's like powder right now. I didn't use a enough water so adding more now. Turn it into like a a ball that I can apply. And that's my point. That's what I'm going to apply to my gates when I get it open. And the reason why I think this is more than a microdose is because I'm actually still doing quite a bit of medicine. You know, maybe a microdose would be a quarter of that. I'm not really sure. I'm just doing what my body calls me to do in the location it's called me to do it. <laughs> I feel like when this medicine came into my life, it's controlled me ever since. I've actually cried and wept while getting Reiki because of the callings that have come from this medicine because in some ways, it's scary. In some ways, it's um, it's it's still unknown. And, um, and I just kind of like pull up my big girl pants and I do it anyway. <laughs> Sometimes it takes me an extra minute, but I also feel like that's part of my journey, the things that I need to overcome. And overcoming it with the medicine helps me overcome even bigger things in my own life and, um, and create the reality that I want, the body that I want, the, the health, the legacy. All right, so here are my burn points from yesterday. I, of course, I darken the henna point. The other two, they're healing really good. As I said, one of them blistered over the other one. It just darkened. It's kind of strange. There's a bit of an end point, but it didn't scab on regular pieces of the skin on my arm. Uh, when I had those, uh, when I did my own initiation, there was, uh, like scabs this seems to be a blister on one section and just darkening on the other I, i'm assuming because of the area i use this stick and how about some wrap papers Again on the left, a little on the right. 
Oh. Oh, I love myself. That peace. At home, my body. This is the last one, the trifecta. Did it. And I did it the first time. That was my goal. I didn't go hard enough or long enough. I pulled back. But I did burn on the first time without being scared, which means I can do it again. Just get it a little bit. So I burn a bunch of times now. Hopefully it's open. It is open. And it wasn't that bad. We'll do one more. Just to make sure. Oh, I feel pretty proud of myself. This is all right. Now for the medicine part. to the wound. I meditate. I'm grateful we found a way to make Campbell medicine more meditative than purgative. Though I didn't mind the purgative either. Both ways have its benefits. So now I'm gonna come in to do the feel into the frog. My second. So I finished this of water before Cambo. This one's for drink. I might purge because that is a little bit more water than I have been having and it's a little bit early, but I may just drift off. I have the bucket just in case. <sighs> so 
and feel it's reached my belly. My head. It's just tears coming up like I, you know how when you flex to vomit, it's like, ugh. it's like that, but with tears and like vomiting through my eyes. <sighs> Maybe that's the help from Sananga. Because I feel once I did that, it kind of passed. So I'm going to do, my foot's feeling a little tingly roll along up into my big toe and this tab is just about dry I'm gonna wet it again I'm gonna uh, flip it rotate it so if there's any additional medicine in here then I'll get it in my body Strange spot. I'm not sure I'll do this spot again. Thing with Campbell is each one's been a different journey. It's all psychedelic medicines. I think it helps with empathy or something. When I was around people that experienced seizures, when I was on mushrooms and doing hero doses, I felt that in my nervous system and when I um, I had two people I really loved, two men I really loved, have heart attacks the same year and when I worked with Cambo and had that. Now I've um, experienced both heart attacks, both the lives of those men. When I, uh, well right now I guess in my life I have people in my life with fertility issues, people with sciatic issues, and uh, a lot of people, you know, just getting over sexual traumas and ex-partners and, and things like that, and uh, and that's likely why I was called do these do this medicine in this way and in this location on these pressure points. Something special about three as well. A sacred number. <sighs> Feeling pretty good, like just like a different understanding. The energy is back. No, I am. Um, I keep noticing that I get extra energy from doing this in the morning. It, it, yeah, working out, going outside. All that, I mean, it's like natural. Whereas sometimes I have to force myself to do it. Working with this medicine in the morning, it's like, there's no, it's almost like more resistance to not do it. Because the body just wants it so bad and, and the energy's there. A lot of benefits, that's for sure. <laughs> I've taken about all I can from this point, but I might leave it on a little bit longer just to dry out. Bear with me. I'm going to go into another meditation.
skin. I love that. Is there any more wrap tape? Uh, maybe some more will help me if I do have to purge. love myself. I forgive. I am forgiven. I'm calm. I'm still. I'm at peace. Oh, yeah. I felt a little burp or bubble in my chest there. But I think it's past now, too. Yeah, in a few more minutes. Oh, that's good. Close my eyes and go inward just in case there's any other messages coming through. What's great about Cambo is once it's in your body, you get messages consistently for long periods of time to a year I've experienced in my own life. So yawn again. Andrew Wild, Dr. Andrew Wilds, four seven eight breath. Four. Seven. You guys, I gotta tell you, I feel awesome. <laughs> I do, I feel so good. Okay. Okay, maybe I... Uh, I don't know. Uh, well, maybe I just get this fit. I don't know why the guys keep coming. I'm meeting more air on my back. <sighs> and I go do some more yoga downstairs. Up a sweat, work this body through, or work the medicine through my body. Just use a piece of tissue 
take good medicine off. And uh, apply some dragon's blood to the wound and ceremony. Close ceremony, close the wound. We're good. I enjoy my smoothie. And, uh, and this is some sea moss I'll put on my body later. It's like uh, I was thinking yesterday about the frog, how it has that protective skin from living in the water and its beginning of its life, and uh, and how it helps protect him from the elements. And that even though the frog is cold blooded. You know, it can still handle the warmth. And so I got myself some sea moss gel here that Tristan made for me. And um, I'm going to have a shower later this morning after my workout and I'll apply this. So I'll sweat from the workout. I'll move the body, the medicine through my body uh, with yoga. And then I'll have a shower, finish my cleanse and apply the sea moss gel to help my own skin as well. I love you all so much. Wishing you the best today and always.